Hello everyone and welcome to this video tour of Mass Effect 3. In the last video we created a new game and we took a Mass Effect 2 character to build our Mass Effect 3 protagonist. In the last video Shepard got out of detention as the Reapers began to arrive on Earth, alarming the highest authorities of the planets. And the only thing Shepard got to do is to tell them well, don't say I didn't warn you. So right now we are in Vancouver. The developers chose Vancouver because of the Winter Olympic Games. Because as a result of the uh, Winter Olympic Games, Vancouver had become really famous. And in a way, even today, Vancouver is quite an international city. But they actually hesitated between different locations and if you play on the multiplayer you also find other maps on Earth such as uh, Rio or uh, London for example. And then you have to leave Earth, you just have to follow Anderson, keep running, don't stop for the jump. If you push the spacebar to run you will automatically jump. If you want to speedrun this uh, section of the game, you can actually go faster than Anderson. Well, at some point, if you look at the, the city, they really tried to give some life uh, to the game. If you look around, you might probably, you know, uh, be amazed by how the level design is really faithful to uh, how Vancouver looks. You have the mountains and the sea. I mean, even in Mass Effect Andromeda, you didn't have so much life in one level. So that's, um, that's a good start for Mass Effect 3 again. These are your first enemies, the husks. You can do whatever you want, they won't attack you. It's just, you know, if you want to practice, if you want to use some powers, I'm using different powers, whatever I do. You can even wait if you want, you're not forced to kill them. Uh, for the next husks, uh, however, these you have to kill them, but they won't attack you either. They keep on, you know, punching the wall for no particular reason. Don't let them grab you. And this is the last husk. The moment you kill it, there's a cinematic going on. No matter where you are, this cinematic will put Shepard uh, in the very location you just saw. I mean, you cannot avoid this cinematic. Gotta find a way out of here. So, uh, let's go inside for another cinematic. Here is medkits. Medkits are useful because they actually give you experience if you are full, because you cannot take more than three medkits. If you're full, they turn into experience. So I strongly recommend you try to avoid healing Shepard as much as you can if you want to progress into the game quickly. And this is really necessary because there are some sections of this game that are really difficult. And here is our next cinematic. I'm going to be quiet for now. It's okay. Everyone's dying. Come here. I need to get you someplace safe. Take my hand. You can't help me. Shepard! In here! Again, this dialogue gives you the opportunity to earn some extra morality points. And there's another long cinematic with Anderson. Ah, this is a goddamn mess! Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. I understand how you feel. It's hard enough fighting a war, but it's worse knowing no matter how hard you try, you can't save them all. Exactly. They hit so fast. <sighs> I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel. 
talk to the Council. The Citadel? The fight's here. It'll be everywhere soon enough. You said it yourself. <clears throat> the Reapers will destroy everything if we don't stop them. The Council has to help us. <clears throat> you sure about that? No, but you were a Council Spectre. That has to count for something. Gotcha! <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. Now it's time to reload. As you can see, I earned four extra Paragon points and I have new Codex entries updated. Spectres and the Citadel. So let's move on. Ah. Lieutenant Commander Williams, we're inside of the spaceport. ETA, three minutes. Lieutenant Commander, Ashley! Damn it, they're in trouble. What uh, Ashley just said is interesting because she referred to the Dreadnought, but if you look at the uh, the ship that is going to explode, it's not a Dreadnought, but rather an Alliance cruiser. You cannot avoid this cinematic, you will fall whatever you do, and we are entering the last stage of this level. We're going to reroute, do you copy? Normandy, come in! Friendlies. You two all right? Get down, they'll see you! And here are the cannibals. I was just uh, checking that the combat difficulty was uh, set up the way I want, because sometimes uh, the game will troll you. So to get rid of these guys, depending on the character you chose, uh, you can, you know, do that more or less quickly. If you are in Vanguard though, be careful, you cannot charge them because they are standing in a part of the map where Shepard cannot go for the moment. And you can use Singularity if you are an Adept or other crowd control abilities to get rid of them as soon as possible. They won't throw any grenades as well, so it's good to know. Talk to these guys. What happened here? Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We're trying to contact our ship. No. There's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. <laughs> Come on, let's get to that gunship. So starting from now, you can give Anderson uh, skill points. But before we do that, let's look for another medipack, which will grant not 300 experience, but 150. What the hell are those things? Because this is the only moment in the game when you can actually control Anderson, I'm giving him some grenades, but it's useless because he doesn't have any. And the real thing that I want is incendiary ammo. It's going to be useful since I am an engineer. Also, concussive shot will be useful. That's all. The rest is not really important because Anderson is not really a character that will stick around anyway. To get rid of these guys as quick as possible, you can try to perform fire explosions. Incendiary rounds will automatically prime the enemies and you can detonate the uh, explosion by using uh, a power such as overload. Another possibility for you is to use incineration if you are an engineer and you can use Anderson's ability concussive shot to detonate the combo uh, as I just did.
Once you're finished, you just have to find the radio. This is the new objective. Don't worry, it's not far from you. And there's a weapon, the only pickup in this level actually, the old faithful Avenger 1. Shepard, over here. I found a radio. As far as the codex entries are concerned, the two enemies we just fought, uh, cannibals and husks, now appear in the uh, codex entries. There's also a new entry about army tools weapons. So for the combat that is about to come, the quickest way to proceed through that stage and the quickest way to hold position until extraction is to empty all your ammo. Normandy, this is Anderson. Do you read? Admiral, what's your location? By a downed gunship in the harbor. I'm activating his distress beacon. Send support. We've got wounded down here. <laughs> Lieutenant! <laughs> Damn it, I lost the signal. Let's hope that beacon does its job. And fast, we've got company. But in this case, I chose to just deplete the wave budget because I could. I'm always curious to see what the uh, boundaries of games are. So I just wanted to kill them all. It's funnier when you are using a vanguard because you can just go in for destroying everything and never stop. You spam your powers and it's funny but as an engineer I grasped the opportunity to practice my combo detonations. Hope they get there soon. It's you and me both. Sometimes combo detonations fail, for example there was a cryo combo waiting and I went too fast actually, it might have exploded if I waited a little longer. And again, uh, cannibals won't send any grenades. This passage is the perfect moment for you to practice if you are not feeling comfortable with your character. You may actually die if you don't pay attention, but that won't happen. In case you didn't know, uh, cannibals are actually a reaper version of batarians. Because batarians were the first race to have faced the reapers. So they were the first race to be zombified. They are like, you know, batarian husks if you think about it. and they use a slow firing weapon. They're really annoying because they can create armor plates that will not show up on the uh, HUD but only on the character design. To do so they just go near the corpse of one of their brethren and they sort of absorb their life so to speak. There's a red light going out of their mouth when they do Another way for them to have armor plates is when they are with a marauder because marauders, another enemy which we will meet, not yet but soon, but if you play the multiplayer you already know about all the enemies, don't you? Marauders have the ability to give usks and cannibals some armor plates. 
they sort of, you know, do a shaman-like thing, giving them more resistance and making some of your shots ineffective. And in our case, what we want is to get rid of the enemies as fast as possible. So the quickest way to avoid armor plates is to shoot at their heads, the weak point. Now it's the last moment when we will see Earth for the time being. Cavalry's here, gentlemen. About time. Let's go. Welcome back, Shepard. Thanks. Shepard! Come on! I'm not going. You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. We're in this fight together, Anderson. It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species and all their ships to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go! That's an order! I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you, and I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard. You might earn extra Paragon points or any good points, depending on the answer you give Anderson. And I leave you with the uh, final cinematic for this episode, and in the next episode we will be landing on Mars to fight against Cerberus. Thank you for watching my 100% playthrough of Mass Effect 3, and see you in the next video. Bye.
Thank you.